Hey guys, Born here. Wanted to talk to you today about wishes, otherwise known as pulls in Genshin Impact. Now, this was a topic that came up today with a friend I was talking to who was pulling from the Wanderlust Invocation wishing area. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with this, but you have a worse chance at getting characters, so it kind of inspired me a little bit to make this video today. So what I want to talk about, I want to talk about some of the details with pulling on uh, how pulls work or wishes um, and why it may be better for you to do sparkling steps, the Klee banner or any special banner like this for that matter versus doing the standard banner or maybe this weapon banner. So the first thing I want to talk about is in the details. Now anyone can access this. It'll have a button assignment at the bottom of the screen where you can click on details and go into this screen. The first thing you'll notice is that Klee is a 50% drop chance for five stars. And then at the bottom here, you'll have Sucrose, Noel, and Xing Chao. These characters are all 50%, uh, four stars and five stars. So what that means is whenever you get a four star drop or a five star drop, of course, there's a 50% chance it's going to be these characters. However, something that people may not realize is that it may be a 50% on your first drop, but it is guaranteed on the second drop. So what that means, for example, if you go down to the five star items, it'll explain here, you're guaranteed to win a five star character at least once per 90 attempts. The first time you win a five star item in this event wish, there is a 50% chance it will be the promotional character Klee. If the first five-star character you win in this event wish is not the promotional character, then the next five-star character you win is guaranteed to be the promotional character. So yes, you have guarantees that you will pull this character if you do a maximum of 180 pulls. Now, of course, that's quite a lot, but something I do want to mention here is that these pulls carry over to your next banner. So if you don't pull Klee, and let's say, let's say you've dropped 120 pulls, just for an example. So you have 60 pulls left until Klee. If it goes over to Zhongli, the new character, you then have 60 pulls until you are guaranteed to pull Zhongli. That's how it works. So your pulls here are not wasted. If you don't get Klee, they will count towards the next five-star character. Now, whether you want that next five-star character, that's a different story. But your pulls are never wasted, and you are guaranteed a character at some point. With the four-star items or characters that's explained here as well so they have the base probability but they talk about the guarantees as well so your first time you win a four star item there's a 50 percent chance it's going to be one of those characters however the first four star item you win in this event is not one of the featured characters so let's say for example you get a weapon the next four star item you win is guaranteed to be a featured character so if you do 10 pulls for example and you get let's say a four star sword the next 10 pulls, your four star is guaranteed to be one of these characters. Same if you get a four star character that's not one of them. The next thing I want to mention is if you scroll further down, you can see the details of what characters you can pull, characters and or items you can pull within that banner. Now, this is where I want to get very particular. For the five stars, you'll notice here, Klee, of course, is there. They also have Mona, Diluc, Kaching, Chi Chi, and Jean. Now remember this for later, this is important. These are only characters involved here. There are no weapons. So you cannot get a five star weapon. You can only get five star characters from this pool, no matter what. Now four stars, that's a different story. There is of course plenty of weapons to get. You can also get four star characters other than the ones that are promoted, but there's very high chance you will be getting these characters. So the reason that I bring this up is to go to the other banners. So let's go to the banner on the far right, the standard banner that's been there since the beginning of the game, and let's look at those details. Now the details will remain largely the same as far as probabilities and guarantees, but there is no banner character guarantee here. You're only getting guarantees at four stars and five stars, that's it. What I wanna point out, if you scroll down to the five star section here, you're going to see it's not just five-star characters. It's also a lot of five-star weapons. There are ten five-star weapons that you can pull from and five characters. 
That means you have a 33% chance of actually pulling a five-star character from this banner. Now, let's say you've pulled 90 times to get a five-star. Let's say you've gone all the way up to the guarantee, and it gives you a five-star weapon. Your five-star guarantee now resets to zero, and you have another 90 tries before you are guaranteed a five-star character. Or, in this case, possibly a weapon. So this is why I don't recommend pulling from here. This is, if I'm being honest, in my experience, mostly for the whales. People that are going to pull a lot from it, and they don't mind getting the weapons because maybe there's something in here they want for a specific character. But they're spending enough money on the game and getting enough pulls to where it may be worth it for them to risk or even want a weapon in here. The way I see it, there's up to 15 different five-star items that you can get. That's a big risk for most of us who want the characters, not necessarily a weapon. The weapon is nice, but I would not take a weapon over a five-star character within 90 pulls. That's a lot of grinding or money if you're spending money on the game. The four stars are relatively the same. Now, what I will say is that sometimes you will get the currency at the bottom, the blue fates. If you get those, perfectly fine to pull from this. As of now, there's nothing else to use those on, so go ahead and pull. I have gotten good pulls from this. I have gotten Chi Chi from this, so nothing wrong with pulling from it. But if you're using Prima Gems or if you're buying Fates, highly recommend the Intertwined Fates and using your Prima Gems on this banner. The center one at least is a little bit more goal oriented. If you do want a weapon, I would recommend even that over the standard banner, because at least that at that point you are pulling towards a specific weapon. The next thing I'd like to cover is knowing how many pulls you have left until you have a guaranteed four star or five star. So if you go into the history, which again, there's a button for that at the bottom, it's going to load your most recent pulls. Now it takes a little bit for these pulls to show up. As you can see, I've done pulls yesterday. I did a pull today that's not showing up just yet. That'll show up probably in about an hour or two. But these are all the pulls. You can see my four star here. I have a five star here. And you can go back and you can count when you receive the last four star or five star. So you'd count, there are six per page. So you would count up to 10 and up to 90 if you pulled a five star. As you can see, I pulled a five star here. I won't be getting another one anytime soon unless I get super lucky. So I've only got about five pulls since then. So I have 85 pulls until the next five star. So if I want... Zhongli and next next banner when that rolls around and I don't do any more pulls now. Uh, if you add into the pull that I did today, I have about 84 pulls left until I am guaranteed Zhongli in the next banner. I say Zhongli because I've pulled a, another five star and I pulled Klee earlier as well. Uh, so as you can see, Klee pulled way back here, back on page 14. Had to pull quite a lot to uh, get it up to Monum. So that's mostly what I wanted to go over today. Um, and let you guys know that it's just better to pull from this banner if what you're looking for is characters, because there's a very, very good chance if you pull from this standard banner, you are going to get a weapon. It's very, very likely. You may get lucky, like I did at one point, and I got Chi Chi, but it's not guaranteed at all. Whereas if you pull from the Klee banner, maybe you don't want Klee, or maybe you don't want Noel, uh, Xing Chou, or Sucrose, but at least you are getting a character at the end of the day. One thing I do want to end this video off with is once you pull enough four and five stars, it will give you an item called Masterless Star Glitter. What you could do is go into here, into Paimon's Bargains. You'll see Star Glitter Exchange at the top of the screen. You'll go to the middle and you're going to have this currency that you can spend in this shop. Now, my personal recommendation, of course, if you're looking to get new characters, the easiest thing to do is to spend them on intertwined fates. They only cost about five each and it gives you another pull towards your guarantee so that you can use them in wishes. Uh, you can choose to use them on these other items. It'll just be more expensive. I do not recommend using your masterless star glitter 
on these items over here, like the Black Crystal Horn, the Leyline Sprouts, especially the blue items. These items can be grinded in game. So I very much do not recommend spending Masterless Star Glitter on them. It's better to grind them in the game, be patient, and you can spend it on either these characters if you want constellations or a new character you may not have if they're listed up here. These do seem to change month to month. Or you can spend it on Intertwined or even a quaint fates. I do recommend intertwined fates because there is no limit to the amount you can buy of these. So you can keep buying those. You can also go to Stardust Exchange and you get Stardust for every pull that you do. And I don't have any right now, but normally at the beginning of the month, you actually have intertwined and acquaint fates you can buy there as well. I do highly recommend investing in them. They're usually anywhere from 75 to 125 a piece. They do have a limit of five per month, so you can buy five of each of these. This is where you can pull from your standard banner, because you can buy five of the Acquaint Fates and use them in there. Uh, you can also spend the Stardust on these items. These aren't as big of a deal as the Star Glitter, because the Stardust is much easier to get. It kind of comes from every pull, so maybe you have something like Experience or Omora you'd like to spend it on. And don't want to do all that grinding. That I understand. That I have done myself many times. Not really a big deal. A little ending off here. If you guys really like pulls and don't want to spend too much money. But don't mind putting a little bit of money into the game. If you haven't done it yet. I highly recommend the Blessing of the Welkin Moon. It gives you 2,700 Prima Gems across 30 days. Gives you 300 Genesis Crystals to start off. 300 Genesis Crystals is essentially just 300 Prima Gems. So basically with purchasing this, you get, if you can be patient to wait 30 days, 3,000 Prima Gems. Now, if you combine that to your Crystal Top Up, the equivalent of 3,000 Prima Gems is almost $50. So you're getting technically 10 times the value by spending $5 on this, if you can wait the 30 days. So those of you may be looking at Zhongli or Child or any of these characters coming out, you may want to start on these right now because that can give you almost 20 pulls for $5. You can also stack these. As you can see at the top, I have stacked mine up to 170 days. So I am covered over the next 170 days. Great purchase. Highly recommend it. Uh, other than that, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, again, if you guys have any questions or if you have any recommendations for something you'd like to see in a video, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate all the support. And I will catch you guys next time.